Hello YouTubers, uh, this is Mark. It's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on so I thought I uh, would put one out today for a gun that I just recently had built. <clears throat> And some folks in the U, in the uh, HK world say that this is the um, the Goldilocks of the HK rifles. Uh, it's not too big, not too small, but it's just right and perfect. And that would be the HK 33K. So this gun was built off of a 93. Uh, it's an excellent conversion. It was done by uh, <clears throat> Brad over at Bonhoff Machine. He's done about four or five of my, five of my guns now. Uh, the work is outstanding, so I'll go over some of the detail and uh, how the build was done. <clears throat> um, what I'll do, uh, I've got some shooting video for this, and you'll see some in the beginning and some at the end. This is going to be more or less just an informational video about the 33K, how it compares to the 53 in size as well as how it compares with an MP5, just to kind of give you an idea of uh, the scale for this. Uh, and like I said, this was built off of a, this was built off of a 93. Um, so this was a 90, it was an IB dated 93 that uh, the barrel was chopped down on it. Um, been repainted because it was originally that uh, gray blue color mag release put in. Um, and everything else. <clears throat> so let me uh, get the camera set up. I'll do the desktop on this, kind of go over the, the details, the nuances. Uh, I've been shooting this with a pack, so I'll go over some of the different um, uh, carriers and the locking pieces. I've experimented with a few of them, kind of give you an idea what my thoughts are on those. And uh, give me one second and we'll get all going. Thanks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, just for everyone to know, mag is empty, rifle's clear. Um, so this is the 33K. So you're, you're talking about a 12 inch barrel versus the 16 that's on the uh, 92. As far as size and scale, this is the 53. So if we line these up, you can see, you know, actually you can't see because it's in the other direction. See the barrel length difference between the 53 and the 33K. So the 53 aligns more with... with the MP5, as far as the overall length. This is closer to the two. 53 is a little bit longer, but you can see as far as size-wise, it's more equivalent to, uh, to the MP5. Or MP5 Navy, as I should say, since it's got the threaded barrel on the end. <clears throat> this was also a Bonoff machine conversion. Uh, excellent job. I did have the video out there of this. Uh, I'm going to get some more shooting videos to kind of go over these with the uh, the trigger pack in them. 
show the different speeds of the different locking pieces uh, when uh, we get set up for the, um, at the range. All right. So, here's the 33K. So it has the same front fixture, all the fixtures are the same as what you would get on the 93. Because nothing from here to here changes on a 33K to the 93. What happens is the barrel is shorter and then you also get a new tree in the front with your grenade ring and then this is the same um, same birdcage flash hider as you would have on the uh, on the 93. See nothing has changed down here on the end. I'm trying to get some good light here for you. So the excellent job on the conversion. <coughs> that Brad did on these. This one also has the later cocking handle on it, which is the rubber version, as you can see here, versus the earlier pattern, which is the larger plastic, like what you saw, the, uh, the 53 had the earlier version cocking handle. This is like what you'd find on a 93. These came later. It's a little smaller. That's more of a rubberized material than what you're going to find in. This is the hard plastic. This is what you're going to find 99% of the time. These are fairly uncommon to come by. <clears throat> Disassembly obviously doesn't change. Trigger pack comes out. <clears throat> Here's the uh, the Bonoff machine marking there that you can see. There's Brad's mark. Now this one, because I have a full auto trigger pack that I run in this, this is a it's a buffered. So the stock is buffered. So you don't need to run a um, you don't need to run a buffered carrier, but this carrier came out of a Malaysian, I believe it was Malaysian, thirty three kit that was basically unused. It, it was I don't know if it was extra inventory or, or what the scoop was, but you've got Serial numbers on the bottom, serial numbers on the side that designate it's, it's a Malaysian unit. And then you've got the buffered carrier here in the back with the, uh, the captured recoil spring. Um, this, I mean, the, the head hasn't even been used on this. Now the difference, here's the German that came with the 93, non-buffered. Now one of the notice one of the differences you'll notice is on the Malaysian one. <clears throat> this is recessed a little bit. See the back, the back of the um, of the tube. This is to this cutout is to allow for the pin to slide up to pull the buffer out. So any of the buffered carriers you see are going to have this this uh, recessed cut in the back of the carrier versus your standard non-buffered cut. Um, <clears throat> the, there's, there's three locking pieces that you could put in this. Um, there's the seven that comes with the 93. 
there's the 8 that came with the 33, which is in here. Or you could also add a number 3 locking piece. And the 3 in full auto would speed up your, your rate of fire. It would also increase your felt recoil. Um, I've shot this with a 7. The, 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 uh, the recoil was not bad. It was still throwing the shells out probably 30 feet. Next time I go out, I'm going to run it with the 8. And see, it's going to cut the, the uh, cycle rate down a little bit, but the recoil sh felt recoil should even be a little bit less. So I'm curious to see how that's going to run when I, uh, when I put this one out. Um, trying to think what else I could talk to on this. This has been known, the 33Ks have been known to be the, the Goldilocks of the HK rifles. Because you've got the short 12 inch barrel, you got the 223 round, um, the recoil's not, you don't get, the recoil on the 53 is heavier than the 33, um, and you've got the extra couple inches of barrel on it. But as far as uh, the handling, the weight, I mean, this, this gun is, it's amazing to shoot. Um, oh, this is one other thing I was going to go over. So I'm just briefly going to touch on this real quick. There are 22 conversion kits out that you'll see. 90% of the ones, 95% of the ones that you'll see out there are either for the 91 or they're for the uh, G3K. The only difference is the, um, is the, the back of the carrier is a little different between the two <clears throat> on the 91. So this is to give you an idea of something. So this is the 91 22 long rifle kit that you can use in a G3K um, or, a, or a 91 if you're running it. This is your 93 22 kit. Much, much smaller in size. Now, one of the differences you'll notice, well, like two major differences. One, the magazines for the 93, and then also your barrel insert. So if we look at this one here versus here. So your 91 has a standard looking magazine for it with the 22 insert inside. The one for the 93 is the HK22 mag with just this adapter that'll fit within the, uh, the, the 93 or 33K, whatever you're shooting. The barrel insert for the G3K for the 91 is a full full barrel because obviously you're taking up the space because you got a different diameter um, round than 22. For the 93, the adapter is just small enough to fit in the chamber because obviously you're going to use the same barrel diameter because the uh, the round is the same going down. And then your device is fairly close to the same except you have. Obviously, with the 33 or the 90, the uh, G3K, you've got the much longer bolt carrier that you add on. <clears throat> but it all works the same as far as the uh, the recoil function, and it's just a simple blowback for the 22. I did sub range shooting. I'll have just a little bit of video um, added into here with this kit. What I didn't realize at the time, the 22 kit was brand new, and the um, One of the, the one of the mags was hanging up, and one of the, the shells had dropped down within the trigger group. So I would get short burst, and it would hang up. Short burst, and it was hanging up. But once I got that cleared out, it ran fine. But the problem was I had finished shooting video for the day, so I didn't get a good video of that. But I'll I'll um, kind of show that in there. Um, this was just a, a quick video to go over the um, the thirty three K. You guys know the drill. You know, if you like the videos, 
uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, uh, any from you know anything else that you want to know about how the gun was built, any of the details for it, uh, the pros, the cons, anything like that, you know, please feel free just to reach out. I'll be uh, more than happy to discuss, and I try to answer all questions that are on the YouTube channel. All right, I guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, can't speak today. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the short video here, and I hope to get some more videos out in the uh, near future on some other other guns that I have. Take care. Thank you. Enjoy your shooting, and uh, you guys have a good day. See you.